the channel. I'm Maya. I'm Mia. And this is 20 <laughs> It's 2023. Happy New Year, you guys. This is our first video of 2023 together. together. We've been posting so much separate things that we're like, we need to film something together, together. so that people know There's this is a twin us. channel. Like, and we're gonna be sharing with you guys our goals for 2023, how we reached the goals that we had last year for ourselves. Yeah. We made 2022 like the, the best, best year, year ever. ever. We made this video last year where we talked about our 2022 goals and there was so many things that, that we, we achieved. Literally. We're just like, I just put this on there. Like, I'll just say, this. And I'm like, oh my god, manifestation, yeah. successful. You guys saw my recent vlog. We did just recently turn 26. She's wrote a letter to her 30 year old self, yeah. and I would like to write a letter to my 30 year old self as well because I feel like where I am now versus where I'm going to be in four years, it's I just like, already know it's going to be insanely different. Right. But there's a difference between being 22 and 26 and 26 mm -hmm. and 30. Right. For it sure. has to be. Yeah, it has to be. <laughs> Before we start, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, join this beautiful, marvelous, magnificent, wonderful, wonderful family, family or whatever we are on this channel. <laughs> First, we're gonna get into our vision board. We did a small snippet showing you guys Mia helping me with the collage. We went to Walgreens, mm -hmm. printed out all the pictures. That's a really good idea. You guys could do it on like PicMonkey or what else? Do we Adobe, Adobe Spark, Spark, Canva. Yeah, and of course um, you can go on like Pinterest and do like digital ones, but mm -hmm. we really like physical vision boards. So we're gonna show you guys. This is my vision board here. And then this is Mia's vision board. We're gonna go through our video last year. We're gonna insert clips actually of that video because we look good in that video. <laughs> right, so you guys will be watching it along with us, and mm -hmm. it's just like I just can't get over how many things we achieved. Achieve. My hair is going fleek, bitch. It's us coordinating for me. Yeah, I have not seen this video, so this is me. Blind reaction. Blind too. reaction, yeah. For 2022, the number one thing on my vision board is to buy my first home. Fingers crossed that it's at least a three bedroom, two bath. <laughs> I've been working so hard. So. so this is Athena, say hi everyone. That's crazy because I mentioned this, but it was so out of the range for me. I was like, it's going to take Jesus to come down himself and send me a miracle in order for me to get a house. A it's like the necessary that steps yeah. that it takes to become a homeowner is a lot harder than just showing up and being like, hey, I make enough money yearly to own a home. I know that sounds ridiculous. A lot of people don't know that, which I was one of those people. And they were like, we need A through Z. And right now you're at A through Q. So I was like, oh, I would just put it there. I really manifest and pray. And I bought a house. This is my new house that we're in right now. Woo! I know, I surprised Mia. I did film the entire process of me buying my house. It was so quick, so it wasn't much of a process, but pretty much surprising me and everything. So like, yeah. I'm literally a homeowner. I just want to input. She was like, I'm gonna buy a house, I wanna buy a house. So she was like buying furniture and mm -hmm. putting it in her apartment. Unconscious, you just like manifesting that home. To yeah, if you guys like, see my furniture. cleaning my entire apartment, that was me buying really nice furniture because I was like, this is the last time I'm renting. I was at my apartment for maybe six months. She's eating the flowers, guys. I was just sitting in my car one day and I cried because I was like, when I put this on my vision board in 2022, I didn't think anything of it. I yeah. thought it was kind of unattainable. And it's just crazy. Buying a home by yourself, no help from your parents, that's really hard, yeah. you know? Woo! I had to tell my dad because like I said, I had to do a lot of different things. Get down. I didn't tell anyone until I bought my home. My boyfriend was super there for me. He gave me so much money to put toward my house without even me asking. To be surrounded by so many amazing people, it was so hard for me not to tell me. I was like, she's gonna catch on. Home <laughs> and I like, always wonder, like, what am I gonna be doing at 25? Who would have thought to visit five states mm -hmm. in the US that I've never been to? Last year, I wanted to go to three, and I did Tennessee, Illinois, and Seattle. I would just really love to go to New York again. Now, oh, older, yes. renovated. We were 15, and we're mm -hmm. 25 now. Okay. So, California and Vegas were the new places that I went that I had never been before, which was really dope. And I also had Atlanta on there, which is so funny because I had two layovers in Atlanta. Yeah. Gotta be more specific. And then I said, go to New York again. Which we did. When I put that on there. I was just like, I just want to go like to see how it looks renovated. I want to go see the Statue of Liberty, like do New York touristy things. things. Yeah. And it's so crazy because we just came yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> just the two of us yeah, for our 26th birthday. birthday, which was a blast. That video will be going up for you guys. Like I feel super blessed mm -hmm. to be able to be a traveler, mm -hmm. to just explore places. Even though I didn't reach five new places that I haven't been to, we did a girls trip with our friends and then Vegas. I did California, Vegas, and then we did New, new York. York. Yeah, so, I feel like you did good. Right, technically with a layover at Atlanta. <laughs> Some kind of way, like the five states, it worked, worked out. out. Whenever somebody tells me we should go on a trip, I'm like, that was okay. Me. That was me. I literally texted her. I was like, I I want to go to New York for our birthday. Like, I think it would be really cool. Mm -hmm. Book the place, book the Airbnb. I was like, we're fucking doing it. And we're gonna just take each other because budget-wise, you have the same interest level, you have the same uninterest level. I can't wait to do more sister trips and out of the country. 
Yeah, we need to go out of the country. Aruba. <laughs> the Dominican Republic. <laughs> Puta Baltava. Okay. So my second is to buy myself a Mercedes Benz AMG C43 Cabriolet. How do you pronounce it? Cabriolet. Cabriolet. The one with the convertible. <laughs> Mia says it looks like a Barbie car and I feel like nothing describes me more. With the peanut butter seats. Mm -hmm. I did not buy myself a Benz because I listened to the men in my life and they were like, absolutely not. No. <laughs> it looks pretty. It's too much maintenance, too much money. And as much as I really liked that car and I thought it was pretty, I did end up buying a brand new 2023. My Toyota Cam with the red leather okay, seat. Okay, period. <laughs> Completely by myself as well. 2021 slash 2022 was definitely like me as said the word was just blessed so many sure. things happened that I was like who would have thought like my car air condition went out and I just stepped into the dealership with my boyfriend to look around and mm -hmm. ended up buying a brand new car driving it off the lot with fucking three miles on it. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I show you guys the reaction of my family so that was really awesome I love my car so much it's literally my baby what's your car's name I don't have a name oh. for it Francesco. I feel like it's a guy. Francesco. <laughs> I just like that name. The next thing that I'm gonna do is reach my weight gain goal, which is just 120. And also just like be able to lift more. I think just having like a pound goal is kind of intimidating. But I'm like, okay, I'm more than sure that I can do this. This whole video. The bitch has reached it, okay? <laughs> the bitch has reached! Ooh. <laughs> and I said I wanted to like lift more, be stronger, and your girl is lifting more. Like y'all, I set PRs for myself this year. Personal records. And like already when I was at the gym, I'm like, I'm gonna do shit. She has that. a video for that as well, showing you guys how she gained all her weight. It's so insane to me. I don't even know how to explain to you guys how it feels to like want something so bad and then also just like really work hard. I was about to say it's it. different to really like, like work for it. Right. The and dedication is different. The self-discipline like, is different. We can count on our hands other than us. One hand how many people in our life we know that are disciplined to the gym at actively right now it really hit me when like i had to buy new clothes i was getting the hand me now <laughs> yeah getting my clothes from my best friend dana she was like oh this is the two and the four that i had like you might be able to fit in it's like i don't know if i can fit that and it's like bitch you yeah. can fit that like, i know i brought so me a christmas crazy. gift like this extra small in the bra and she's like it's too small so it's really awesome yeah I don't think you guys understand how bad like I wanted this. I remember Maya and I did like a doll up, like we were gonna do a video or something. And I just remember feeling like, oh my God, show me up here because I just felt so skinny and I just didn't feel oh, sexy God. and confident. And it's just like, girl, I wanna buy clothes today and a bitch spent $200 to get back. I was like, everything looks good. Like, right. oh my gosh. I feel like I can just ramble mm -hmm. on and on and on. You guys can see so far we've achieved this fucking things we yeah. like God is good okay yeah. just so blessed but the third thing and this is gonna sound so like vain <laughs> is new boobies so okay I've always liked big boobs like the way they look I like the way they flatter clothing I like my small cha-chas but I love it yeah, I don't love them. I mean, I love myself, I love my body, of course, but I just know that if I had boobs, like the clothing, I would rock. So the doctor that I'm looking at, it doesn't live far away. I'm gonna do a whole video on it, hopefully by the summer, because like you wanna wear like all your cute mm -hmm. outfits. So I did not achieve this, but I'm getting plastic surgery soon. It's not that but I will be filming that entire process. I'm not telling you guys what plastic surgery that I'm getting. A lot of you guys might not even know this about me because we don't even do like a lot of hauls, a lot of try on. Yeah. This is something that a lot of people have like asked me about and I've thought about my whole life about getting surgery on and I think I'm just ready. Yeah. So I'm gonna take you guys through the process. I have my consultation next week. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna film everything, not be a damn chicken. <laughs> there's like an Easter egg, I guess you could call it in one of, an, of the other videos, mm -hmm. but that's pretty much the surgery that I'm gonna get, but I'm still not gonna say it in this video. So go find it. All right. <laughs> it's gonna be a no on the boobs just because I've just been going back and forth with it and I just feel fine with myself and I don't want it to look dumb. That's honestly why I'm not gonna get it done and I feel like I'm gonna be having kids soon enough that they're gonna look nice and, and also getting weight I like that yeah and I feel like people mm -hmm. might not agree with me on this I might ruffle some feathers but when you're in a relationship with someone it's good to ask them their opinions about things and if they don't think that you should do something and they like you exactly the way you are and I'm not gonna do that thing. if my partner's like oh don't get that though right. you don't need that that sounds dangerous I'm worried don't put the foreign substance in your body we had that conversation I just respect my partner enough and I yeah. respect his opinion and people can feel indifferent about that but 
Yeah. I do want to perfect the skill of skating. It always did make me feel good to skate. Buy myself some nice new roller skates. I wanted to like perfect a new skill and I said skating and I didn't. I didn't buy any skates. I didn't perfect it. We went ice skating in New York. We like, went skating for our nephew's birthday at the yeah, beginning like, of 2022. Mm -hmm. But I just bought some skates. So yeah. <laughs> it's happening. It's, it's coming. Like it's coming. I want a third kitten and I really hope that him and Apollo and Athena get along. And I'm saying him because when me and I were younger, we did have a cat. His name was Domino. If I could find pictures, which we have a ton of, I'll add them here. He was like the love of our life. Like mm -hmm. he was our little buddy. But unfortunately, he passed away of uh, feline leukemia. I want to get another cat just like Domino so I can be the cat lady with three cats. And I've always wanted an all black cat, but Apollo and Athena kind of just fell into my lap. Yeah. And so it kind of worked out because they have each other. And they, yeah. I love you guys. And he is. He's not going to come. But I achieved my little goal. He's all black. This is Athena's guy. Say hi, love. Cheese, oh, cheese. He was born in July. Same as my other cats, actually. He's <laughs> always dumb. It's like a lucky thing with the month of July. He's getting so big. He's adorable. He's the best little addition to our family. I can't wait to find my Apollo because we'll just be a little foursome. My next one, I just really want like a place to call my own. And I think it'd be cool to have a place like my friends can come hang yeah. out over. I can host stuff. So this is so funny because <laughs> I really wanted to have my own place. At the time we were living with my dad. I live with my man so he has his own house and it's been so nice. Just kind of made our own little humble abode away right. from my parents. So right. that's Right. All that I have. <laughs> bought. Right. And I love having my own space. And we're doing so many renovations yeah. outside and inside. And then I get to do my thing that I love to do, which is basically like fucking remodel. <laughs> like, the whole house feels like it has a personality. Right. Definitely manifesting. And if you guys saw our Thanksgiving vlog, we host a Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. So, a win is a win. Right. <laughs> a win is a win. The goal is to travel somewhere every single month this yeah. year. I'm gonna speak that. Yeah. But I know what me getting my house and stuff it might be a little bit difficult because I'll be putting in so much time and money and work into it that did not happen by any means I've been so busy but I definitely had a lot of new experiences every month but I didn't get to travel a new place every month we are saving that for next year we are speaking that 2024 <laughs> we're gonna go somewhere every month next year I don't care where it is I'll take the cat I need to start posting more fashion content on my Instagram retro futurism technological fashion cybernetic that damn that's like my style i just want to be that bitch yeah. that did not really happen the pictures that i did post on instagram though i like but as of now my instagram is going to be private the thing is not getting public until i'm no longer working at this job but i will serve you guys some looks on youtube because i bought a lot of new pieces that i love for my style and y'all will see all that mm -hmm. i put that on my 2023 vision board i'm going to be serving you guys fashion looks okay <laughs> just know that this year for the entirety i would really like to start working out i used to work out four or five times a week with my personal trainer i literally gained 11 pounds in less than two months and i was really killing it it was making me feel better mentally emotionally i was looking better physically confidence was on 20 on a petite five one person like me it was like great so that's the goal for the entirety of 2022 at least 120 pounds as you guys know we filmed this video at my dad's house before he sold the house and then i moved to texas for a mental health break and while i was there i started Started working out doing CrossFit and if you guys know anything about CrossFit it is intense. a workout <laughs> on steroids a lot of steroids like that's how I feel like it's just so intense and I started doing CrossFit five days a week every morning at 6 30 I was taking my Apetamin consistently that's the only thing I was really consistently doing every day and my mental health was good recently seven months ago I started working out with my trainer Mia's old trainer mm -hmm. she only had him for like two months but I've been like holding on to him he is amazing yeah he's really good he used to be 140 pounds at his smallest and everything like that he's but not, he's like 195 naturally like yeah. literally naturally of course there's nothing wrong with taking supplements and that but our trainer is extremely natural right and he gained weight so he gets it that's why i feel like male personal trainers are so important for girls trying to gain because mm -hmm. they know what it's like to be that skinny person to be that person who just can't get those pounds on and to have my sister like okay now that i'm where i want to be in one aspect how do i build the glutes like get yeah. me to the girly aspect i missed mm -hmm. a couple days this week because i've been really really busy and you guys can watch my video where i show you i work out five times a week which is Friday, a great video <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i take you guys through like my workouts i voice over it was definitely a different type of video for me but i I enjoyed making it. Even I was like, I'm gonna switch it up. I definitely achieved that goal. I'm not 120 pounds yet, but, um, but I feel like I tr I'm very consistent. I need to be more consistent with food, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to not step on the scale as much because I yeah. feel like it's all in how you feel inside, like you were talking about earlier. Yeah, definitely. The next health thing, I guess, is to really clear up my skin as much naturally. as I can before I commit to a birth control because I mm -hmm. want to see just how much I can naturally clear my skin, or just like to keep a really good 
skincare regimen. I found the jewel of jewels, you guys, which is the Numbuzzin facial toner. I'm not wearing a lot of makeup because I want to show you guys my skin. The only place I have makeup is my under bags. her eyes, yeah. But like, other than that, y'all, skinning. Can we get into the skin? Okay. <laughs> it's hard to feel confident when it your is. skin's not clear. Bumps and blemishes and blackheads. And you're always like wondering pimples. how to cover it. I don't know how to get wanna... herpes on your lip. Nothing against people with right. herpes, Jesus Christ. But it's just like, that, that don't look good. And I also wanted glass skin. It looked like my skin was glowing. Like that right, like I didn't have to wear any makeup, which then it wasn't is Korean skincare. Yeah. So I would say it was successfully achieved. My skin is now extremely clear, okay. Also, I love makeup, don't get me wrong. Even today, like I was like, I'm gonna do an eyebrow. But I I love my natural face and I think it's because I finally cleared my skin and I just want to show her off. And if you guys have trouble clearing your skin, try Korean skincare. Mm -hmm. I think my natural hair on the front is here. If I can reach belly button length this year, natural hair is straight. That's what we're aiming for. 2023, January, I'm trying to have my natural hair just like right up on the show. Yeah, <laughs> and I added a new oil. I wanted to go my hair to belly button length, you guys know. I straightened my hair, trimmed my hair in a video for Thanksgiving. And when I tell you my hair was like here, it was, it was long. It wasn't a belly button length, but it was really freaking long. And I took those scissors and I just chopped this way. Like, because it's been two years since I straightened my hair, since I trimmed my hair, and it was bad. I really want to focus on now. Wig, two weeks, natural hair, two weeks. So I can keep up with my trims because if I would have kept up with my trims, there's no way I would have had to trim that material off. So I didn't reach belly button length, but... Healthy just hair. hair. Healthy over length. <laughs> exactly. Healthy over length. And I wanted to just grow my hair longer and thicker and be consistent with oil. And now I am consistent with oils. I did also cut my hair to make it more blunt, but it's super thick now. So I love it. Like, I don't think about my hair that much anymore. and mm -hmm. worry about like, oh Same. God, like, I'm just look. like, it is what it is. Like, my natural hair is like so bomb. I posted a video where I showed you guys like my natural right. routine within my morning routine. I really want to have an extremely healthy relationship and healthy communication. Practice like, healthy coping mechanisms for being angry healthy emotions healthy communication would be like all in one um, successful argument where yeah. it's like you know just argue like there's like sermon. something that comes out of it I had a lot of goals for a healthier relationship and I can successfully say that we are in so much better of a place I can only speak on me because I'm the only person that's here I'm just gonna say it's hard when you grow up a certain way seeing a dynamic of a relationship a certain way to break yourself out of the cycle that you think is the norm just because you grew up that way versus what actually is the norm and people say what's the norm what is normal we know exactly what the fuck normal means yeah. normal means the man runs the household he's in charge he's masculine he's the strong one he wears the pants all that it took a lot of like accountability and me softening myself diving more into my feminine and everything i'll get more into a video about that but i'm going to talk about how i achieved this higher level of like self femininity and now i'm so much more of a happier person i attribute a lot of things that were happening in our relationship was because we were trying to share this power dynamic that it's like realistically I'm gonna say for me because I know how y'all like to tussle <laughs> for me the power dynamic is for the man and yeah. I was trying so hard to be like this is how I grew up and so I'm used to this and so I want the power dynamic and how about we share the power dynamic and that's not a thing for me for me we are both so much happier. We are having a great, grandiose time. That definitely came true. It took a lot of inner work. It took a lot of accountability. I don't know if it's all such a chance, but we do not like to apologize, honey. Oh, my bad, you did <laughs> Like, what's an apology, baby? So it took a lot of accountability and replacing the my bad shot. <laughs> right, my bad my fault, bitch. <laughs> and a lot of I'm sorry. You know? I apologize. Right, I apologize. <laughs> I was wrong <laughs> I definitely think that it came true and I was like I really hope this works out we've been through so much it's gonna be 10 years in March which is fucking insane I feel like I did not kill each other yet because y'all didn't want to kill each other at the same time yeah so I'm happy about that one for sure I just need to compile 15 of my poems perfect them put them together for a poetry book so I really want to have something to publish yeah. by the end of the year now I have another element to add to my poetry book so that's a little bit more exciting. That poem that I was mentioning and I was like, oh, I have another element of it. I haven't written it. I feel like that is a win because I wrote that poem. It's like one. top tier. Top tier. The whole book isn't done. The whole 15 poems are not done even a year later. Yes, but I'm we're getting of, there. I'm proud of what I have so far. Your progress. So. Yeah. So you can't mention a vision board without mentioning finances. Let me say that. Yeah. The goal for 2022 is to have three to five 
passive income streams i have passive income but it hasn't reached a point that it can sustain my life and i can be like comfortable enough to be like okay i quit everything i'm good yeah. in addition to being debt free outside of my house and car one more thing for the finances i would like to successfully save twenty thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars yes so uh i did not achieve getting three income streams hustle on my ass <laughs> But I did, baby, period, see $20,000 in the bank. They be looking at me at the bank like, girl, what's she doing? That's not even like that much money. I know they be seeing people with money, money. Right. But I only have one income stream. That's unfortunate. I want it to be completely debt free outside of paying off my mortgage and my car. So no credit card debt, no student loan debt. And unfortunately, I still do have student loans and I still have a little bit of credit card debt, but that's because I just purchased my home. So of course, when you purchase a home, you purchase a lot of things that come with a home. I had to purchase a washing machine and dryer yeah. and stuff like that. But we're slowly dwindling her down. I have got her down significantly in the last week. <laughs> but financially, I'm very proud of myself. Yeah. Since we're going to finances, adding more income streams to be able to successfully and abundantly supply for me my needs and my wants. I just feel confident and comfortable in my finances. Definitely want to create a website for my sitting slash nanny just so they can be able to like go on there, check off their time so I don't have to keep like checking to see like is my schedule free and like just seeing if I like overbook. I do have two sources of income. I have enough money to cover my wants and my needs. That's why I was able to take as many trips as I did last year. The other one, I did. And the families that I already had, most of them has had their second or third baby now. <laughs> Even though technically I'm like a sitter, I feel like I'm a nanny cause like I'm the one that they go to, you know, the kids' routines and all that. So that's been really nice. I feel extremely blessed. So many of them say that, you know, they feel like I'm a part of their family and I feel like I'm a part of their family. Oh, that's sweet. They got me Christmas gifts. I got the kids Christmas gifts. So I definitely say I didn't create the website. They've done all the recruiting and they recommend me to their friends. You don't even need a website. Yeah, I don't. I just bring it in my calendar, my phone. It's really nice. Definitely expanded that. So I want to get into our social goals me and i would really like to start a tiktok 5,000 for Instagram. Me too. I literally said the same thing. I said 100K for YouTube because, you know, a bitch can dream. I want to post motivational, inspirational, informative, and comedy content. Yeah. <laughs> yes, a bitch can dream. We did not start a TikTok. We did not really do much with our Instagrams. No, to reach um, 5,000 followers. Because mine was private and we didn't I just didn't really enough. post. Like, and then when it comes to YouTube, we have gained a lot of little family members. We but, have. This like, makes me happy. It does. YouTube is just different. We did not reach a hundred thousand twenty thousand we didn't even reach a thousand but that's okay that's what yeah. 2023 is for and it's like it's just numbers as little subscribers as we have right now we see you guys in the comments like really genuinely connecting and commenting and like being so involved in the video like the connection and i think when you put it into our perspective of like if you were to think do you know 600 and x amount 50 of people like no i don't right that right there just makes the number seem so much bigger the fact that i feel like I, I can't even name right. 150 people. I feel so good about the content we're posting on YouTube. Today. All of our February videos, ideas I've already shared with Mia. We're gonna be doing one video me, one video her, one video together. It will be a lot easier for us to film and edit. It just feels natural. It just feels it like you guys are just following us around an authentic life. We didn't reach any of our social media goals. No, we're not even upset about it. I love what we got going on yeah. right now. I, w I wish we could have done Vlogmas, but we'll save that for this year. Yeah, some kind of vlog. Month. I did say I wanted to finish my renaissance bedroom, but I think that will have to be put on hold It's frustrating because I filmed the whole video based on this room at the moment Our dad is selling our childhood home I just don't want to make all these big renovations just yeah. so he can turn around and sell the house anyway So I would just do my room the exact same way and that is gonna be in my new house I always said that I know I'll reach the pinnacle of wealth if I can afford my uncle's landscape company <laughs> And I will be able to afford him when I get my new house I'm putting it down on my vision board for 2022 and he will give me my dream garden. No, I will probably not be able to have koi fish in my yard, but a bitch can dream, right? <laughs> it's so funny to watch back like that. You guys can't see it behind me. This one looks pretty much exactly like my room at home. And then I'm gonna put a wallpaper here on this wall. The beginning of our intro, when Mia and I are laughing, that's yeah. the wallpaper that I bought from Etsy. I loved it and it just brought like life to the space. It just sucks that I have to cram all the furniture that was in such a large room in such a small room. A video is coming up in February where I'm gonna do my complete house tour and I'm also gonna do my master bedroom transformation so look forward to those. But I basically did put the room in my dad's house in my new home. <laughs> and I don't have my dream garden yet. I just moved to my house. My uncle says April. So we'll see. <laughs> Two months. And I'm ready. I'm ready to put my dream garden. Ready for ready. A goal of mine is to read eight to 10 books the whole 2022. I want to just have like a book log, a little library. And I think that the important thing about being a writer is also like being a reader. So 
oh my god i wanted to be on here and give you guys a book list i kind of forgot about this one <laughs> but i read a lot of books so i think i started off the year reading the subtle art of not giving a fuck and then the last book i started reading 1984 but i didn't finish it so technically did you read it yeah okay i definitely did i'm trying to figure out one of my favorite books that i read this year i'll put it here i can't even think about it. i read so many I, read I do not have a passport yet but i will be getting my passport and i will make sure my boyfriend gets his passport too to go to the palace of versailles rome in italy napa valley sedona arizona this year it would be cool but realistically with everything else that I'm doing I'm just gonna put those on my vision board so that maybe in a year or two or three I can cross it off no I don't have a passport like I mentioned in this video but I'm gonna save my travel for 2024 because this year is going to be so busy and so full of me just like tackling a lot of things in my life preparing for getting close to the 30 and things that you do when you're closer to 30 but I definitely want to get my passport just in case I decide to just you know pop in Mexico you know, <laughs> right. Canada Right. Are they communists? A uh, relationship goal that I have, I at least want to have taken just like two vacations. That would be really fun. It doesn't have to necessarily be like something predictable like on Valentine's Day. Yeah. But. And we did. We went to California and Vegas, which was super nice. Bad Bunny. Check out those vlogs. It was great. I love my little travel buddy. My big travel buddy. <laughs> Before we start and get into our vision board, I'm going to mention two of them that are on my vision board. It's to get monetized on YouTube, which would be really amazing, and to be more punctual. Not really on time. I feel like I'm good at being on time, but I want to show up early to things. If I have to be there between 7 and 9, best believe I'm going to be there between the 9 and 9.05 grace period. A very classy thing to do i feel like it's very tasteless to be late to things the ones that aren't on my vision board i want to pay off one of my student loans it's in the process it's getting done and then the other thing that. is to have a budgeting notebook for saving managing money etc etc i already started doing that in my <laughs> new planner i also have just a few more that weren't on my vision board pay off my car get over an 800 credit score and start an llc and get a business off the ground like a personal business so that i can move into ventures for the future now to the vision board part of the video basically i'll give you guys a rundown of the just travel which is over here in this section a lot with health and wellness so we have like some weights the scale eating healthy cleansing your body money here hustling selling on depop a lot of feminine energy and then my house paid off is in the very middle i want to be more flexible this describes my cats because i will find apollo i'm manifesting that hair growth i attract money easily every day stop waiting for the light at the end of the tunnel and light a bitch yourself continuous improvement is better than delayed perfection I have proverbs 10 and 19 too much talk leads to sin be sensible and keep your mouth shot passport and then i want to learn how to make bread pudding that is on my vision board because it means a lot to me <laughs> so mine i really want to go scuba diving this year i want to mm -hmm. get to 130 pounds i would like us to sell at least 100 items on depop I have a scrapbook all our favorite moments out of the year a lot of traveling things my travel bait i would like to buy a new car this year and there's a little sneak peek hidden somewhere in that picture but we won't get into that <laughs> i also want to get a new tattoo this year the one that i've been wanting body look good hair looking good and healthy lifting heavier skating I really want to experience a first-class flight like I'm talking first class with the wine and you know mm -hmm. like you know and I want to spend a lot more time in nature I love the feeling of my bare feet in the grass and I want to do that a lot more often. In my backyard. <laughs> and also I really 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 want to learn Spanish fluently mm -hmm. I would love to go zip lining and I would love for us to get to 100,000 subscribers yes. and get that flat baby exactly. and get this um savings goal to 20k mm -hmm. and I also have this quote by Amber Scholl that says ah but what if it does I said to get monetized on YouTube but the goal down here is actually to reach 60,000 subscribers and a lot of home improvements finishing my house diving into to my divine feminine yeah i really like it i'm excited Me too. <laughs> so much happened for us in 2022 that it's like literally anything is possible yeah, 2023 <laughs> is definitely going to be our year i feel like the last two years have just been so great yeah there's no way we can go but up it's like what else do we need to be great in yeah youtube <laughs> right, youtube we're just gonna be consistent in everything for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching we really hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe if you made it this far make leave this comment here within comment. your comment and leave us down below a goal that you would like to reach this year until next time bye guys we're manifesting all 2022 that all our dreams and our goals and things that we have come to fruition and we will try our very hardest to make those things come true Keep me moving so quick You never see her coming She wants to wonder She and me ever